Hey, you're good, fake. I'm not a grief or anything. Unless you shoot at me first, and then I'll just fuck you over. Oh, dude, you're only a level three. Do you need help, man? You need some money? Fake, you got a mic? <laughs> Grab your mic, dude. I'll help you. Or right, ma'am. You got a microphone? Fake, you got a mic? Hey, hey, you need some help? I can, uh, if you have a mic, I can, I can, we can communicate, and then I can get you some money and some gold. 
I know it's, it's your first day, dude. You're probably fresh out of the, fresh out of prison. And I, it does. In fact, if you want to, I can help you do your missions. If you don't have a mic, start a posse, a temporary posse, and we'll do your missions. And I'll help you. I'll walk you right through them, man. I'll walk you right through them. I've done them a hundred times. So to start a temporary posse, here's what you want to do. You're going to want to press left on your D-pad, the arrows, left on your D-pad, scroll down to posse, and start a temporary posse. I haven't done it in a while, so hopefully that still works. Now you went to your catalog. You went too far. It's all right. But if you start a temporary posse, um, I'll join up on you and help you out with your missions. I was just up here looking for collectibles, but uh, I don't mind helping out a brand new player, man. This is a great game, so. Yeah, you got to press left on your D-pad and start a temporary posse. Scroll down to posse, where it says free roam, and then scroll down to posse. Start a temporary posse. Or unless you just want some money, I'll run, I'll run a... I'll run my trader with you. That'll get you like, I think like 300 bucks. It'll be a great way to start off the game. So if you can't start a posse, I'll start mine and I'll just run that mission with you. Hang on a second. Let me get mine going. I'm going to send you a posse invite. If you join it, then I'll uh, get you some money. But hang on. There we are. You should see it on your left on your D-pad. Scroll down to invite. There you are. Good job. All right. Don't go anywhere. I know you probably don't have much money. Just leave it to me. I'm going to invite you to my moonshine shack first. That'll get you a little bit of money. And uh, to show you that I'm legit, and then I'll uh, then I'll run my trade mission with you, and that'll get you like 300 bucks. So um, hang tight. I'm gonna I'm gonna pull you magically to my moonshine shack over in Lagrasse. So I'm gonna fast travel you across the map. If you have a microphone, grab a mic so we can communicate. Hang in, I'm going to pull you to the moonshine shack. And we'll get you toniced up here. What posse? All right. I'm bringing you into the moonshine shack, so. There you are. Oh, well, you're coming in. Yeah, you don't even have to come in if you don't want. It's all good. There you are. I have some ideas. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna go and just start it, man. I don't. I thought you made it in, but it'll get you like. Well, this is a shitty one, but we'll do it anyway to get you some money. Your timing is. Uh... We have some All right, there's going to be a wagon wheel that appears outside. When you see the wagon wheel, uh, step outside the door and jump on the wagon, and then you can uh, run shotgun with me. Now is mature. It is a corsé. Your American friends will not see the difference, I think. But this is not the question. I am my father's son. And I will not compromise. Do not lose it. Drive with care. Okay? All right. 
the wagon wheels just start appearing. All right, if you're still inside, are you still inside the moonshine shack? All right, if you're at the, if you're in the very bottom, man, go down inside the bar and take a drink. Or you can go check all that shit out. I'll run this I'll run this real quick for you. You'll just get money. So, hang out there for me, man. Check shit out in there. You can play play with the bands, stuff like that. You can even play the instruments in there. Yeah, take a drink while you're at the bar. That'll get you a gold ring. And you can dance at the band and all that kind of stuff. Play music. You can play each of those instruments if you'd like. Check it out. Yeah, this is, that's the moonshiner roll. All right, man, another two minutes, I think, and you'll get paid. Hang in there. Almost there. Alright, 10 seconds, you get paid. Here we go. Apostle leader gets paid twice as much as you do, just in case you want to be a apostle leader. Alright man, should have got something like 32 bucks or something like that, 28 bucks. Oh, we ain't done yet man, hang in there, I'll get you some more money. Alright, I just gotta go back to the shack and remake the moonshine and then we'll go back to, uh, we'll bring my moon, or the camp over here. Moonshine. Wish to complain, but the price for the ingredients for the mask is not so good. Perhaps uh, you should uh, discuss. Again. D'accord. 
All right, I can do the moonshine that exact run every uh, hour. So no price, huh? that's why it's good to get the moonshine roll. Not only that, that's 800 XP for me. I don't know how much you got, but. Alright, now let's go get some, uh, let's run in my, my other mission. We're going to go over here to the fast travel and then, uh, or actually, let's see where my camp is. Hang on. Let's see where it's at real quick. We'll just go to camp. Oh, it's close. It's in the gator spot. It's just down the road. All right, but we got to stop to make before we get there. This this house on the corner, I call it the double whammy house because inside there there are two pieces of jewelry you can get there every day, every 24 hours in real life. So, you know, when we get up here, I'll show you. It's this house here, right here on the left. We're going to turn into this little. Uh, All right, you're gonna go inside this house, sir, and uh, just gather up everything in there that you can. There's gonna be some cigarettes on the table. There's gonna be some uh, whiskey, I think. The stuff that I get here is the jewelry and the wardrobe, and there's also gonna be another piece of jewelry in that table between those two double doors. Yeah, that table right there. There's a piece of jewelry in there. I think it's some Tennessee whiskey or some bourbon on the table, the coffee table with some cigarettes. And there's another uh, collectible there in the, or another piece of jewelry there in the wardrobe on the, in the corner. And that's there every 24 hours. So come back to this house tomorrow at this time, and the shit will still be the stuff will be there again. You can pick it up and you sell that to the fence. You get like seven bucks for that, so it's not, you know, it's at your level, dude, you're gonna wanna do this every day. So pull up your map and see where this place is at and then I'll take you to the fast travel so that way you have an idea of where you need to come. I know, I know, I know it'll be hard, but you'll, you'll figure this map out. It, it's tough at first. It seems overwhelming, but um, it, it it's really not that tough. All right, so the fast travel is for uh, that you want to take for that is called Le Gras. And it's this fast travel right up here by these houses. And you simply take the fast travel to Le Gras, you run down the street to the corner. And it's the white picket fence house on the corner. That's how easy it is. All right, so, but right now, so this is the fast travel that you're going to want to take from LeGraw. Right now, we just want to go back to the camp so that uh, we can do that mission, so. I'll try not to overload you on all that kind of stuff, though, man. I tend to... Oh, okay, then. All right, well, if it's too much or if I start talking too much, man, just tell me to shut the hell up. I, don't, I, won't, I won't take offense. Oh, here, let's kill these gators and get that meat. Uh, shoot those two alligators right there, man. That gets you 15 XP each. Uh, sorry. Go ahead and skin them, and that'll get you another 15 XP each and some big game meat. And you know if you've played this before, you cook that big game meat that gets you silver, silver or gold cores. Don't bother keeping it unless it's a perfect one, man. 
if it's a perfect one, put it on your horse, and then um, we'll we'll take him to the we'll take him and sell him. Yeah, I got another one right here for you. And then one more over here. Yeah, like I said, don't bother saving them, dude, unless they're perfect. If they're perfect, we can go sell them and get a little bit of money, but it's really... I, don't, I know at my level, it's definitely not worth it. At yours, it is, so... All right, there's some more over here. Try to shoot him in the head to get a perfect pelt. After you kill that one, there's one right over here in front of me as well. It's only a one star, so... I just want you to get that XP, man. Those are the best things to kill for XP are gators. My my second best thing to kill is once you get a varmint rifle is start killing every bird, every rabbit, every varmint that you see, and that's an extra 5 and 10 points. I used to do that whenever my buddies would be running wagons. I'd just run shotgun with my varmint rifle and start killing all the rabbits and birds and... Dude, I get I'd get like two two hundred XP just uh, riding in the wagon for a mission. All right, and come on over and get some stew when you're all done. This is our camp, so. That'll get you solid gold cores. I'm sorry, but give me a second. I got to cook some stuff. Oh, cook up that uh, meat you have that you just got from the gators so that you'll have that to eat. Probably just gonna be plain meat for now, but I got a I got a whole section of uh, herbs we can go and pick too. If, you know, I got a whole little uh, a little. Uh, actually, I got a couple of little loops. I got a small loop we can do to quickly get them, and uh, and I know where the loop the herbs are enough where um, we can pick them pretty easily. We just keep walking instead of riding our horses and stuff. It's just. Now, I got my big loop and a small loop, so we, we can do that later as well. I'll get you some herbs, fill you up, and then we'll cook, cook some more shit. But yeah, I use this stuff still every day, every day, so... Even at my level, I still get griefed. Oh shit, let me see what I need now.
That's the best meat you can get right now at your level, dude, so. All right, clean your weapons if you haven't already. Make sure they're clean before we begin this mission. Just gotta craft a couple more tonics and then I'll, uh... Get this thing started. Alright, man, you ready? You got all your ammo. Oh, you can resupply over here too at the uh, at my lockbox. It's like your mailbox. If you order stuff from the catalog, you know, if you ordered some like ammo or whatever, you can pick it up over here. I don't know how far you got on your first time you played, but pay your bounty there too as well, please. We don't need the bounty hunters coming after us on my mission. Let me know when you're ready and I'll start it. Not a bad spot, this. All right. Let's get this show on the road. Oh, I didn't even level check this right. lobby. Got a batch ready to go. And a buyer I usually run these in a private lobby. Me and my crew, we uh, we get private lobbies, and um, and that's when we run these kind of missions in there. But <coughs> I don't think anybody will mess with us. If they do, I do have a way to save the save the goods, so. All right, man, you want to run up here and jump on the wagon? I know you still got that scrawny nag and that ain't going to be worth a shit. Okay, the next thing you need to do is to flee your horse. Do you know how to do that? Press, uh, yeah, flee your horse so it doesn't run, in, run into us. I think it's L1 and then over to the horse. I'm sorry, over to the hand and then flee. And that way it doesn't get in the way. Oh, hang on, let me uh, let me clear that waypoint. Right. Now let's get this show on the road. Wallace Station, huh? It's not too far. All right, so you should get 300 bucks out of this. 322, if I remember correctly. They're already starting to come after us. Shoot those red dots behind us. Good job. Good job. Now these trade missions you can run every three hours, three three and a, every three and a half hours, and that gets you like twelve hundred XP. Well, it gets me twelve hundred XP. It'll get you half of that, so you'll get like six hundred. Hey, you already leveled up to level four.
Well, I know it's your first day and all, but um, I got a whole crew that I run with called the Stoner Outlaws. So um, if if you could if you uh, end up playing Red Dead quite often, hit me back up or send me a friend request, and um, I can help you out with that kind of stuff. We do run missions and shit like that too. Riding rich. But, just so you know, if you do join our crew, we do come with a little bit of baggage. Um, not so much anymore, but we were at war with a few posses. And I used to have this level 800 that would load up on me every day just to kill me, so... That's the kind of shit you get into when you, if you join up with us, man. We ain't the... We do try to help people, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm not... You know, I'm not gonna say I'm the friendliest guy in the world, but, uh... You know, you come at me friendly, I, I'm going to be friendly back. But if you uh, come at me sideways, man, you're, you're not going to like me very much. You know. And when I saw you up there at Gap Tooth, I'm like, oh man, the level... Th Usually whenever I log in, I try to warn people, you know, don't, don't fuck with me, man. I don't, I'm not here to cause trouble. But if you do, I kill red dots and I, 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 have a, I hold a grudge, man. I won't stop. So, I, I also put it up on YouTube, so <laughs> if you really tick me off, I'm going to throw it up on YouTube and show everybody just how you are. So, so if you want to see how nice or how bad I am, just you can check out my YouTube channel, man. <laughs> and, and I'm probably going to post this as a video after this mission just to show people like, look, I help people too. <laughs> Well, yeah, I mean, and, and I, I saw when you were level three, I was like, oh, man, either either this kid is going to be um, one of those, oh, it's a shoot 'em up cowboy game. I'm just going to start killing folks. Or, you, you know, or if you be respectful and listen, then I, I can help you get money and shit, you know? And that's exactly what I tell everybody in my video. I'm like, why would you fuck with the highest level in the game? Why would you shoot me, you know? And I could help you. But I understand. It's a cowboy game. Bang, bang, right? <laughs> and that's why I said, all right, then. It's a cowboy game. Don't be crying whenever I don't stop. And, you know, you just keep dying over and over. Oh, dude, I love it. I'm sorry. But I also give him a chance to apologize as well, so... Nice. So what happened? Did you lose your account just getting back into it or? Yeah. Well, I'm usually on on the weekends. I do epic broadcasts or, uh, you know, I do like a 12 hour session on, on the weekends when my wife's working. So, um. That's what I'm usually on. I'm on in the evening time sometimes too, but usually I just jump on and do a daily. Good job. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh-oh, we're gonna have to go by Valentine. You still got your solid cores, right? Solid gold cores? Alright, good deal. Valentine's always a hostile spot for me. We'll roll through as fast as we can. That's also the one spot if you are a trader that you can uh, have your lowest level trader sit in Valentine while the rest of the posse hunts them down. You can call out directions.
Well, the good thing is there's not going to be a fight when we get there since they uh, chased us along the way. Bad thing is no looting. In, in my uh, in my crew, we have a um, a rule that the lowest level loots, so that way they get everything that they can to get them up to speed. Unless they're level 100, then it's a free for all. Yeah, if we're all level 100s, it's you know you got access to everything at that point, so. get paid. I'll get you a little leg up in this game anyhow. There you go. Man, you should have got a little bit of money there. Like 312 bucks or something, right? Nice. Now you can go buy at least go buy a fucking gun and shit, a bolt action, or if you can if you have access to that yet. If you don't have access to the bolt action, the Lancaster repeater would be my next uh, choice. I wouldn't buy a horse dude until you're above level 15 or you get a roll. Um, but yeah, I'm going to post this as a video just to show folks I do, uh, I do help them. Send me a friend request, and if you do end up playing this game quite often, or, you know, hit me up and I'll help you out when I can. Or if you start getting griefed, man, I'm always down for a fight. Alright. Alright, man. Hey, and uh, check it out on the, I'm going to, um, I'll put your, your uh, name in the, Screen or in the title of the video on YouTube, so just do a search for your name. All right, fake, have a good one, brother. And see, folks, I help people.
thought you'd be such a natural at playing. Not me. The Wanderer returns. Thank you. 